What is up YouTube, Fancy here, and today I'm reviewing Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World is almost a carbon copy of the original Yoshi's Woolly World for the Wii U. The platforming is just as solid on the portable iteration, and the smaller screen does not detract from the fun I had in the original. Trying to collect all of the bundles of yarn in each level is addicting as ever. Also, the yarn aesthetic works very well and the graphics look great even if they aren't as sharp as its home console counterpart. There are some differences between the two games, like if you pick the mellow mode difficulty, Yoshi will be accompanied by Poochie Puppies, which will act as infinite eggs and point you where to go in the level to find the invisible question mark clouds and yarn bundles. I only played a level with this difficulty because it makes the game mindless for gamers that know what they are doing, but I can see this being useful for little kids just getting into games. Another new feature for Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World are the Poochie Runner mini levels in the Poochie Hut. These feel like a quick addition that Nintendo added in just so that they could put Poochie in the title. They aren't bad and add replay value to the game, but I do think they feel too much like a free-to-play app than something that should be put into this game. This was an opportunity to allow the player to take control of Poochie and see what it's like to help Yoshi get through a level, just like Poochie does when you're in control of Yoshi. They also could have made a co-op mode, where one player is Poochie and the other is Yoshi. One big disappointment that comes with this port is the fact that there is no co-op anymore. Nintendo once again stripped out an element like the missing online level creation tools with Super Mario Maker for the 3DS that I absolutely loved from the console version. The last difference that I noticed was that each Yoshi you unlock has three different color variations you can choose from. This is a neat little addition and I hope that they update the console version with this as well. So. Is the game worth picking up? To answer that question, you must ask yourself a few questions. Do you own this for the Wii U? If not, then this is a day one buy. It's an adorable platformer with lots of reasons to replay it. If you do own the Wii U version, how much do you like the game? Personally, I like the fact that I can bring this game on trips with me, and I am more than happy to find all of the flowers and yarn bundles again. I give Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World an 8 out of 10. It's the same score I gave the home console version, because this game really is just as good. Sure, it doesn't have the co-op function, which is a bit disappointing, but it's still a solid game and perfect for playing on the go. So thanks for watching everyone, I'm sorry this review wasn't as long as my normal reviews, but this game really is basically the Wii U version put onto the 3DS. It runs just as well, and I believe on the new 3DS I've heard that it runs at 60 frames per second. And I can see that because it really did run very smooth, especially for a 3DS game. On the old 3DSs, I have heard that it is only about 30, but honestly, I still think that's pretty good for a handheld port. So if you guys like the video, definitely leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. Have a great day, guys. Okay, so I know the video's over, and I've already done my whole subscriber, like, spiel, whatever. But I just had to go back and mention this because I didn't in my original review audio. Oh my god, are these stop motions adorable. After you beat levels and you check out the little... The, you're looking at them right now. I mean, they're absolutely very well done, and I love them. I mean, I've got a soft spot for stop motion, and I've always loved Yoshi. So having the two together is just incredible. And it's over like 15 minutes of stop motion footage, so if you don't have this game for the Wii U, highly recommend it for the 3DS. Um, I mean, you get a solid platformer and a cute little mini movie. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, I just had to add that.